All right, you guys, I'm back. It's time for another Mac swatch video. So some of you guys know that I've been running a Mac swatch series where I'm swatching all different formulations of Mac only on my hand, and then once all the hand swatches are done, there will be a full lip swatch video, which I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna start, or I started with my cream sheens, and now I'm moving into my satins. Satins are longer wearing than cream sheens. They're also a little less hydrating, but not as not hydrating as a matte. They have a really good pigment payoff, but they also have kind of a glaze to them, if that makes sense. And I don't want to use the word glaze because that's what a glaze finish is, but they do have more shine to them than a cream sheen does. So I have nine satins, and most of my satins are in the melted down formulation, so it's gonna be a little bit of finding them, just so you know. So the only satin that I have left in two packaging is probably the most famous satin of all time, Max Brave. This is a beautiful kind of mauvey purple color. It's really pretty. It has a pink undertone. And this again is Max Brave. I really, really like this one. I do find that on me it looks more purple than pink, so I don't wear it very often. But in the fall and the winter time, I love this color. I think it's beautiful and I think it looks really good on most people. It's definitely a go-to for me. So one of my favorite MAC color, MAC red colors is the MAC red. It's beautiful. It's super pigmented. It has this very clean red coloring to it. It's kind of more of a pink red, which is probably why it's one of my favorites. Um, definitely pink base, but it looks so good on so many people. So that's MAC Red. And now you guys are seeing what I mean when I say satins have a lot of pigmentation. Cream sheens are a little more glossy. Satins have a lot of pigmentation, but when these go on the lips, and I will put one on for you guys. When these go on the lips, they definitely have kind of sort of, they don't look matte, they definitely have something there that gives them a little bit more of a glossy texture. And that's why I really like them. So that's MAC Red. So the first satin in this one is Rebel. And Rebel is one of my favorite purple colors to wear because it's kind of like a purple burgundy. It's not a pure purple, and that's why I really love it. It's got that hint of like red pink undertone that makes it really wearable for most people. So that's Rebel, and again, I love that color. Pink Nouveau, which is this one up here, the third one. Pink Nouveau, this is also a gorgeous satin finish color that I get a lot of love from. It's a blue-based pink, but it's kind of more bright than your typical blue-based pinks. It's really pretty, it's really wearable. I love Pink Nouveau. And here we also have Snob. Let me just find it, because it's hard to compare them from front to back, one, two, three. Snob is a, another blue-based pink, but this one is definitely less bright than Pink Nouveau. Snob is beautiful, but I find that it's too blue-based for me. There it is right there, that's Snob. But Snob is definitely one of MAC's best-selling lip colors. And then the last two um, satins in here are Peach Shock and Flesh Pot, which are two of my absolute most favorite nudes. Flesh Pot, I like to mix it in more than I like to wear it on its own. I find it very, 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 very light. But I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Give me one second. I'm just going to get these off my hand. But remember when I told you guys they have pigment? They have pigment. They stain. Know that. So it's these two right here. Flesh Pot and Peach Dock. One and two. Flesh Pot, like I said, is a beautiful, very light-based nude color. Like, look at how pigmented this is. This covered up that hot pink that was under there, the staining. Flesh Pot is something that, like, I can't normally pull off on its own. It's just super, super light. It looks like my skin. Can you guys see it right there, Flesh Pot? It looks like my skin color. Now, Peach Dock, however, is a more peachy-based, warm tone nude that I've definitely worn and love. Oh, so pretty. So that's the satin so far, and I only am missing one because I have nine in total. So there's only one more in the third palette. That's the hard part about melting down your lipsticks is that you have to kind of hunt when you want to do videos like this. It makes it a little more difficult. And it's Myth. Ooh, I love Myth. Myth is beautiful. Myth is another um, really beautiful nude color. Ugh. A lot of my nudes are done in the satin formula, which is really interesting. It's the second one right here, and it's also got a little bit more peach to it. You'll notice a lot of my nudes are that peachy nude. It's what I wear, it's what I like. Myth is probably my most worn nude color. 
Uh, one, two, it's the one on the end here. Three is myth. It's probably what I'm going to put on today. So let me go and do that. So this is all my satin finishes right here. This is a mix of myth and rebel on my lips. I really like the two together. Gives me a really soft berry tone, which I think will look gorgeous out today. And I don't know if you guys remember when I wiped the cream sheens off my lips. Most of them came right off. With satins, you're not going to get that. You're going to get that staining because of that deep pigment that's in them. But a lot of people like them. They do wear, like I said, far longer than a cream sheen. I get about six to seven hours, depending on what I'm doing. But we're going to do the check-in test with this one today. So like I said, I'm wearing Myth and Rebel on my lips mixed together. I probably am just going to take Brave to be honest with you guys, for touch-ups. I'm volunteering in Paxton's class today and I don't want to be mixing lipsticks while I'm there. So if I need to do any touch-ups, I'm probably just gonna put Brave on and call it a day. But this is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna go about my day and I'll be doing my check-ins for you soon. All right, you guys, this is check-in number one. I've been wearing this now for probably close to six hours. I haven't eaten, but I have drinking some water. You can see that it's still on there pretty good. This lighting is a little different. I only have my ring light on right now. I don't have any other lights on in my room. But yeah, you can see that it's on there still pretty good. And it also doesn't create that like feathering line that I found that I got with some of the cream sheens. So yeah, this is after about six hours of wear. And I will do one more check-in today and give you guys my final thoughts on the satin finished MAC lipsticks. Final check-in, I turn on light, they're only on this side, no lights on the side. This is what I wanted to show you guys and I was hoping it would do it. This is the MAC Satin Lipstick, that's what I told you guys. Um, do you see how it's fading out in the middle? That's the one thing I don't like about these. The cream sheens bleed a lot, but these tend to fade from the middle out, so you end up with that line on the bottom that I'm not a huge fan of. So yeah, there's that. So overall, I do like the satin formulation. Not as much as I like the matte formulation, which I will be doing like all swatches on my mattes coming soon. But satins are a good option if you want something that lasts a little bit longer than a cream sheen, but isn't as hydrating as a cream sheen. So that is my review on the satins. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video.